Hello, my name is Pierre Schiller, and I am happy that you are watching this video because I wanted to talk about some crucial concepts that you need to take care of while you're doing or while you're texturing your character. As you can see here, we have a lot of line details all over her body, around her waist, uh, the boots, even the laces that this character has. So the way I am working in this, and I suggest you do as well, is that you separate your lines from your colors. And right now I'm working with the darkest color on the character. Why is this? Because I plan to do a highlight map, which will allow for an additional color to be added on top as layer. And we also can see that this character has uh, facial shapes and you can notice that the face is separated from the body. This is all the way until the end. Right before exporting or right before using this character, I will merge everything so that all of the shapes of the body will uh, attach themselves to the rest of the vertex groups that the model has. Why is this done? Because uh, you need to have a pre-merge uh, version, if we can say it so, so that you can manage your um, symmetry sides on your facial expressions. And since the body is not symmetrical, then once it's merged, it will no longer be editable. So you need to plan ahead your facial shapes. Okay, so you're seeing here the line map. Okay, everything is done separately and it was multiplied against the vertex colors. I select the polygons, fill them in a dark color, black in this case, for the vertex color and that is multiplied against the lines. Why is this important? Because whenever you're creating your artwork, you need to take appreciation to what you do in 2D. And what we do in 2D is to outline or draw the elements inside the mesh, in this case the body. Uh, and we also detail things like cloth doing these lines. Now the proper method, of course, has been shown already in all of my other videos, but I wanted you to see this personal close-up of this model so that you can know what steps I'm taking. And right now, this is around 80% uh, completion. And here we go, we can see the vertex color um, applied specifically on the darker parts of the model. So you can pick that up and then multiply it against the line map. Now another important thing that I'm doing here is taking the mesh for the nose um, profile as you can see there. Any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you very much for watching this video.